we obviously love Star Wars toys. We have uh, really just an unhealthy amount of them. Uh, some people out there are even more damaged than us and have even more impressive collections. But what's interesting is that as we've watched Star Wars, don't look at Boss. <laughs> look away from him. Don't look at my. Don't. 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 I'm hiding the Boss. Uh, Our little Trandoshan has grown up so fast. In Star Wars, Star Wars characters collect Star Wars toys. Yeah. But are they just, I think they're just replicas of real life stuff. I think they're all technically educational toys because they're based on real things. They don't have action figures of us. That would be too weird. That would be weird. But we figured we'd do a quick roundup of, uh, of, some, of the, uh, some of those nerds in the Star Wars universe who in fact collect Star Wars toys just yeah. like us. So these are the um, Star Wars characters in Star Wars who have made their own Star Wars toys. Yeah. I'm, so This is really awesome. This one I'll give him a little bit of credit for. Uh, Luke Skywalker has a model of an Incom T-16 Skyhopper. Uh, the story here is they mention like, oh, you used to bullseye womp rats in your T-16. Luke has this. It's like a crop duster. It's like this crappy little kind of like um, screw around plane. Uh, they were gonna put it in Star Wars, and that was a model they built to be like, yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in the movie. And they were like, we don't have the budget for that. And he's like, ah, screw it. It's Mark Hamill's toy. So he plays with it. He's hanging out with it. But I kind of liked it. That's sort of like, I don't know. That's not like a toy toy. That's like it's a model. He could it's be a like, model kid. he's like, it's. It's a collectible. It's Luke, like when, Luke yeah. builds Gundams, basically. Yeah, I mean, I, so the cool thing yeah. about that one, specifically, some Easter eggs about it, is number one, they made a toy of that toy that you can buy that fits a Luke Skywalker toy in it, which is pretty awesome. It's and one of then the only, yeah. they make a Luke Skywalker toy that comes with a two scale version of that, so you can, yeah, you, yeah, you can bring the Luke Skywalker holding his model kit into his own T sixteen. Cool thing about this is based on the visual history information. Uh, this actually has a bunch of details on it that Luke hasn't put on his yet, but the, his dream is to make his own T-16 Skyhopper look as cool as his model kit. Was. Yeah. Also, so, I love that it's sort of like, I, I use the old Luke there just because it's sad yeah. when you compare the two. And so we didn't really get to see this trend for a lot of the rest of the movies. Like Max Rebo didn't really have like a bunch of dolls at the bottom of his keyboard. He, maybe he did. No, he had an entire like burlap sack full of Skylanders. <laughs> oh, we didn't even talk about the holo chest. Those are just totally like a Skylanders. They, totally. Okay, Chewie's got totally. a bunch of those. Anyway. Well, let's uh, talk about Rey. Uh, Rey in The Force Awakens, you get to see the inside of her like burned out uh, AT-AT or AT-AT. Yeah. Whatever you call it. And she's got like some, she's got an old like army surplus, uh, you know, X-wing pilot helmet. And, and she, she wears cosplays. She kind of it. role plays in that. Yeah. But then she's also got this, uh, this little doll of an X-wing pilot that is, it looks like, uh, I don't know, like a, it looks like that, the, the bad guy from that movie Trick or Treat. It look, it's just like a weird little terrifying voodoo doll. Yeah, it is weird. Uh, it's very found art. But yeah, she made this thing out of straw and cloth and fabric that she found around Jakku. Yeah. Also, shout out to whoever uh, took a camera phone photo of their TV during the movie and then put that on Google Images because yeah. that's what this is. Nice work. Yeah. Um, from there, Jin Erso, who probably has the largest collection of Star Wars toys of anyone. Yeah, you Jin see- Erso. Is a, is a dork. Yeah, let's take a look at this full screen right here. You get to see Jin as a kid uh, on her planet growing up when the sort of the Empire invades it uh, and her, you know, her mother is killed. She's holding a stormtrooper wooden figure that she built herself. Do we know um, that for sure? Is it, does it say that canonically she made it? I feel like I think it, she did. Yeah, I feel like it would have been her dad. I feel like it would have been old Galen or so doing that. No, it explains it here. Uh, and then of course there's this entire spread of all of these different toys. There we Nicely go. Nicely done. Uh, th- I love this. I think it's it's funny how there's like a, like the, here. So here are these big these big fat things that um that Anakin and Padme had on, on Naboo. They were like playing around with them. Yeah. Here's, she's got an IG88. Uh, the cool thing is that she calls them all different names. Like so, the IG88 is called Mr. Iggy. Uh, the Tauntaun is called Tinta the Snow Lizard. Um, she's got is a that, homemade Jedi a cruiser. Here? There's a Wampa called a Bommy the Gig. And then the stormtrooper is called Stormy. Aww. Um, they're really, really cool. So yeah, I think she even makes one of the fish. Oh yeah, the Opie Opie, the fish from uh, yeah, the OP, OPC killer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, that's that's like a weird level of like meta nerdery that we we got into there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. The very end of the Last Jedi, we got to look at some new Star Wars toys, some some like rustic craftsmanship by. Uh, the urchins of Canto Bite. Mm-hmm. Uh, here are some of the uh, the stable boys, and they're they're crazy like like they're. Pl- they're like role playing. They're doing like they're doing like a full on like campaign there. Yep, reenacting the whole battle. Yeah, the movie uh, ends with a couple of kids sitting around playing with Star Wars toys that they built, and one of them is just this little like wooden straw man with a laser sword. Yeah. And then that like ug- ugly boil of a forearm man comes in and yells at them. This is like, 
I like to think that they're actually his toys, and he's like, those are collectibles, you're ruining the value, don't <laughs> damage them, and then he beats the kids with mm-hmm. a whip. Um, but no, I, I, looking closely, this is like the highest res scan we can do from the, from the visual dictionary. Uh, I think those are horse brushes. Or well, I guess uh, yeah, father brushes. But yeah. I like the idea that these kids are like, yeah, let's use company supplies to make play things. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, just gluing a bunch of stuff to it. And I didn't even catch that. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Broom Boy. He started out as a promising young toy maker. Yeah, and then he grew up to hopefully be the next Jedi. Yeah, it reminds us of someone else who uh, apparently was a real big nerd and did full scale uh, models. Anakin Skywalker, yep, who had Lego Mindstorms from a young age. He's more of a Technics kid. But yeah, right. <laughs> sure. I don't, I don't know. Like that. Yeah, whole, I love this. He built a protocol droid that speaks ten thousand oh, different he's languages. He's also got that. Like he's also got like that '90s scoop game. Is that, that what that? Oh yeah. yeah, it's like that. Like uh, children's and there's like a lacrosse. bunch of bent forks hanging from it. I think those are uh, monkeys in a barrel. Is that what that is? And I then don't on, even what, know. what's that? Like what's is that? Like a play school shovel on the on I the other side. I think it's like an there? ab roller type. Anyway, of thing. welcome to Up and Noon. This is what we do here. We talk about the. Real, really just the worst. Well, he also made his own power wheels, which is basically his pod racer, right? Like, every kid would love to make their own vehicle, and Anakin did. So while everyone else was making action figures, Anakin, who, you know, uh, came before all of them, was like, no, I'm going to make a, a large human man <laughs> and a car. That's really, I don't like that. That's, that's upsetting. It is upsetting. Also, I feel like when most children are like, I built a robot, they just, like, glued a screw to a coffee can, mm-hmm. and they're like, parents are like, that's, that's nice, dear. Chewie, it belongs in a museum. That was our video about Star Wars. Man, we've made a lot of videos about Star Wars, so here's some more videos about Star Wars. Right, Greedo? <laughs> That's not how he talks. Have a good Christmas.